Hi guys. Hi. I'm here at Joann's. And I get questions a lot about what kind of fabric I get, where I get it from, what fabric is best for what things. And I've been asked a bunch of times to do a video when I'm walking through a local store like Joann's or Hobby Lobby. So here we are. Hi. I got both my little kids. They're both bribed with donuts in their belly to be good during the video. So we'll see. We do have troll stuff here. Here, will you hold this for me? Yes. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi! Do you like going to the fabric store? Yes. I like in the back. I told you. This is just a party card. Ooh, Mama! I wonder what those bags are back there. We'll see. Alright, we're going to go straight for the knit section. I do get questions about all the quilters' cottons at the front. And although they have a lot and a lot of cute ones, they're really f mainly for quilting. A lot of people will use them for a little girl's dress. Mm -hmm. But for me, if I have to iron it before my little baby girl wants to wear it, it's probably not going to happen. Especially, unless it's for a special occasion, I'm not going to iron her clothes <laughs> every morning. Okay, so here we are. This Joann's has it ordered with performance knits first. So you'll see a lot of shiny spandex ones. These are more for dance wear. But you could use these um, for almost anything, really. Here's a great one for pegs. So it's in the athletic. It's got lots of stretch. Performance. 92 polyester, 8% spandex. It'd be a great workout wear for pegs. They have a few different colors of that. Here's another one that's popular for pegs. It's another performance one. It'd be good for workout wear. Or if you're using it for a top, for a workout top. Go down a little bit past the workout wear. This Joann's isn't very organized. So it looks like they have a bunch of theirs mixed in. Um, I see a little bit of apparel mixed in here. All right, here's some sweater knit. You can see this one's more of an open weave. If you stick your hands in there, it would be see-through. But it would work great for a looser top. You can layer over a cami or a cardigan you're gonna layer. Let's see what they have. Usually they have a bunch of their solids separated out. So here's a knit. It's 100% polyester. For me, polyester doesn't breathe as well. I live in Texas where it's hot. It would be hot for me. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Alright, here's a great one. I love sweater knit. This is Hatchie. Um, I would use that for almost any top. You could use it for a tighter fit one, a looser fit one. Ooh, this one's lovely. It's a looser, looser weave sweater knit. It would be a, a beautiful cardigan or looser top. Here's a good ribbed knit. Let's see what it's made out of. Tiny rib knit. Polyester rayon spandex. This is one of my favorites. I love a rayon if you've read any of mine of what fabric I like and what I prefer. I love a rayon. It's really soft, comfortable. It can be clingy, so if you're someone who doesn't like a cling, make sure you use it with a really loose top. It'll be flowy, and if it's super loose, it won't be too clingy. Something like the pumpkin spice is what I have on today in a rayon spandex. So you see, it flows to my body, but it's so loose that 
I don't worry about it clinging to anything I don't want it to be clinging to. All right, let's pull a more stable one. Some of ours um, call for a more stable. Hi, Megan. <laughs> this is um, a Ponte. Rayon polyester spandex. Again, but just a different blend. Okay. So even though both of them have polyester, rayon, and spandex, this one is a Ponte. It's thicker, more stable, doesn't have as much stretch. This rib knit, which has the same exact content in it, or same fibers, polyester, rayon, spandex, is thin, loose, much stretchier. So when you're looking online, especially, it's not all about content. It's really important to go and feel in a local store and learn those names like Ponte, Liverpool, Rayon Spandex, Poly Spandex. Here's a super soft one. We'll see what it is. This is a Diddy. So, Diddy is much like an itty. I love an itty knit. It's very soft. It's very flowy. There's sprayers everywhere. When you spray while you're down on the bag, guys. Okay. This is a lot like a rayon spandex that I love because it's soft and flowy, but it doesn't cling as much. It's got um, a little more polyester in it. It's a slightly a little thicker and just kind of slinkier. It's softer. I don't want to say it's softer than a rayon because a rayon is really softer, but for some reason it feels more cottony. Rayon spandex will feel more cottony. So that's what I'm wearing. Looks a little more like jersey. An itty or a ditty will look and feel a little more polyestery. But it's really nice. Yes. So it's ITY or DTY. And they're um Is it can you focus it? I don't know if you can see it. So this one says DTY. There we go. And um, they behave a, a lot alike. They're great for dresses, maxis, a work top, something that you want to look a little nicer than a t-shirt. The rayon spandex has that same flow and softness, but is more casual, really, usually. Okay, let's see what else they have. Well, they have some costume, costume stuff. Okay, so here's all their solids. Here's a rayon spandex. So this is really similar to what I'm wearing. It's thin. Um, some people complain that it's hard to work with. It's pretty stretchy. Um, but it's so lovely on. For me, it's soft, flowy, thin. I live in Texas where it's always hot. And even though it has polyester in it, I never feel hot in it. Let's see. I'm sure they have some cotton spandex in here somewhere. We can pull that and show that off. This is a poly spandex. So, they're labeling this as a black heavy rayon spandex, but it actually has no rayon in it. So, it won't be as soft and flowy as if it has some rayon in it. Here's another itty. So the other one was a ditty. Not sure if you guys can read them or not. So this one is a itty. Um, and it's the same. This would make a lovely little black dress. It's thinner, so you wouldn't want to do like a sweetheart in it because it calls for a more stable knit. But maybe like a, sun, a sunshine dress would be really beautiful in an itty. So here's just a jersey. This one's 100% polyester. For me, I stay away from 100% polyester. It feels hot and not soft to me. All right, here's their cotton spandex. So, 
97% cotton, 3% spandex. It's not very much spandex um, in the world of cotton spandexes, so this isn't going to have as much recovery as if you get like a cotton spandex from a custom knit group. But it actually feels pretty nice. It's pretty thick. Um, I prefer cotton spandex for um, things like pegs, um, a pencil skirt would be nice, something you want thicker, a little more stable. Myself, I don't like cotton spandex for a t-shirt most of the time. I think it's too stable. I think it kind of stinks out like a tent. Now, if it's a tight shirt, you can wear it because it's tighter, but I tend to like loose shirt for myself and so when I wear a loose shirt in a stable knit kind of sticks out from my bust and makes me feel like I'm wearing a tent okay so here's a slub slub black knit poly rayon spandex again and I'm going to show you here on the side The slub is you see those little lines going through, not the deep lines, the deep lines is just because um, it's a striped fabric. But if you see my finger back there, see those little lines going through vertically on my fingers? That's what a slub is. So if you see a, um, a fabric with the little lines through, not heathered, but they're actually little lines in the fabric, that's called a slub. And usually they're softer, drapier. I love them for t-shirts. I love a slub knit for a loose t-shirt. All right, that's most of their black solids. All right. Here's some more of their um, apparel. Um, slub is kind of like a burnout. It's not quite a see-through usually. Can you get the choker? <laughs> we always call it itty itty, but it is I T Y. Mm -hmm. It is. It stands for interlocking twisting knit, yarn with knit. Um, but we always just called it itty. Here's some special stuff with the Nicole Miller. Um, Here's a really thick, stable sweater knit. As, and as you can see, I talk about drape and stable a lot. You can see this one sticks way out. So even if I push it all back, it sticks way out. That means it doesn't have a soft drape. The ones that drape down naturally by themselves are the ones that you want for a soft drape. And you can just do it over your hand too. So if I stick my hand under there, it's going to see how it's sticking out towards my face. So that would be good for a more stable. And this one, this one is a very drapey knit. So I stick my hand under there and it doesn't stick out towards my face. It drapes right down onto my hand. This is very drapey. So that's something you would want for a looser, drapey, flowy top. All right, guys. I'm not sure how much longer my little ones can keep semi-quiet. Any good examples of scuba or Liverpool? Nicole Miller sometimes has them. I think this is a scuba, so I'll pull it. We'll see if I'm right. Yeah, here's a scuba knit. It's a Nicole Miller scuba, scuba knit tapestry is what it says. It's poly spandex. To me, the best way to describe scuba is if you have ever felt techno. Um, it almost feels like a Oh, I can't get it back in there. It's almost spongy-like. Now, this one's a pretty thin scuba. This is the thinnest scuba I've ever felt, actually. But it's more stable. You can see it sticks out from the thing. 
we recommend scuba for pencil skirts and sweetheart peplum. It looks great in that. It's okay. Usually it's a little thicker than this one. So it's great for hiding lumps and bumps. This is a scuba too, it feels like. Again on the thinner side. For me it is hot because it's all polyester and spandex. But I live in Texas where it's super hot so it's probably not a problem for most people. Oh, they're begging for trolls earlier. <laughs> trolls! trolls! All right, we're going to sign off and do a little shopping for the upcoming Patterns for Pirates patterns. I got to get a Ponty knit. I did do Ponty earlier. If you go back and watch it after it's posted, I did a Ponty. It's a thicker, more stable knit with polyester, rayon, and spandex. All right. You can say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.